Well, it is a stadium that absolutely oozes history. Here we are at the San Siro in Milan. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Milan, and they take on Cagliari. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. team Mike Mignon begins in goal Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions Ismael Benassa plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield and leading the line today Olivier Giroud Well, as you can see, it's a fairly narrow midfield, so it does mean that the fullbacks need to break forward at the right time. But it's the number 10 who really has to affect the game today. And so the match is underway. Moving forward effectively. Just needs to get rid of it. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Farago. Ball's gone. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind defenders. That's when he's at his most dangerous. Corner kick played in. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. has restarted 1-0 here and they have possession again and the emphasis is on creativity and quite simply wide of the target Salamakers. Giroud. The supporters want to see him have a go. And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say.
Sunderland away with the lead standing at 2-0. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. No foul play, says the referee. No yellow card. Instead, a firm warning from the official. And no way through. Good tackle, take it away. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, the execution there rather went awry. Well, Derek, the less said about that, the better, I think. From one side of the pitch to the other. Tomori. Sandro Tonali. Giroud. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Goal kick. That'll be a free kick. And intercepts again. Well, Milan are controlling the possession, as you can see. They've passed it well. Oh, wait a minute. They could well be in. And the keeper's in trouble. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And what a great finish it is. He just lifts the ball over the keeper into the back of the net. That's a well-constructed goal. So the live action continues. It's all Milan. They hold the aces. to Rome on the wing and a good looking ball and it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over and that was a very fine read Teo Hernandez The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And Giroud with that effort! Well, not quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Really good interception. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Moving forward effectively. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Siro. Well, I think it's accurate.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. A very good tackle. Now options are plenty. And the ball back with Milan now. Leonardo Pavoletti. Now Farago. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Rafael Leao. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Hernandez. Played into the box. Oh, goodness me, off the post. So, making the substitution now. Naitan Nandez. And Pavoletti. Clean challenge. Now, who can he play it to? So, a corner here. Sostituzione per il Milan. Termina qui la partita. Con il numero 9, Olivier. Now sending it in, and not the best clearance. Giving it a try, not out of the woods yet. It'll be a corner. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Let's see about the delivery. And saved by the keeper. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Well, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. into the final 20 minutes and in with a real chance well I must say that goes down as a very disappointing effort Calabria and that'll be a Milan ball and given away Oh, terrific pass, and he's in. Oh, it's mischievous. Oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the chip requires such good technique. That's a brilliant bit of skill. What a goal. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest.
Bad pass. Oh, what's he gone and done? Oh, fancy footwork. And keeping it out. And a double substitution it's going to be. Taken short. Well, spot on with that challenge. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. But well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Good technique displayed. Simple catch, really. Strong but fair tackle. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Will he find the net? Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. As you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So there it is, the referee says that will do it for this contest, and Milan the winners. What did you make of it all? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. I think it's accurate to say, Stuart, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.